Algebra 2, Lesson 12, the equation of a line. Uh, equation of a line can be pretty simple as long as you memorize the uh, point intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. Um, now, when it comes to solving these problems, sometimes you won't even need to use this if you come across a perpendicular line like A. Uh, but when it comes to lines with an actual slope like B, you're going to have to remember this formula because we're going to have to fill in the blanks of M and B to find the equation. So starting with line A, which is the easy one, we see that it's a perpendicular line to one of our base axes. So this one's perpendicular to the Y axis. Um, and it never touches the x-axis. So the way that I always remembered how to do these is if you have a perpendicular line on a graph and it never touches one of the axes, well then the equation isn't going to have that letter in it. So since this line never touches x, then there's no x in the equation. So all we have to do is count how many spaces down line A is. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 5 spaces down. So everywhere on this graph the y value is going to be negative 5. If we go over here, the y value is negative 5. If we go over here, the y value is negative 5. Over here, the y value is negative 5. So the equation of line A is y equals negative 5. That one's done. Really easy. Now, uh, likewise, if we had a perpendicular running this way, where it only touched the x-axis, we would just take the value of our x, and that would be uh, that would be the equation. So if we had one that you know ran vertically here uh, at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, at positive 5, this one would just be x equals positive 5 because it does not touch the y-axis at all, and every value of x is 5. Now, moving on to line B, where we have an actual slope, uh, the first thing we want to do is find the y-intercept, which is actually the value of B in our equation. If you remember, M is the slope, B is the y-intercept, and X and Y are different points on the line. Uh, so to find our y-intercept, we just go down the y-axis, find where it crosses, and right here it crosses at a uh, at the point negative one. So our B is going to be negative one. So when it comes to the equation of line B, we already know that y is going to equal m times x minus one. Now all we have to do is find out what m is. So there's two ways to do this. We can trace the graph in triangles and figure out where the next solid point is going to be, or uh, we could plug in two points to figure out the slope. Um, so we'll start with the triangle method because that's the one they presented in the book. But if we start at one point on the graph, like right here, and then we trace to the next point, uh, we would drop one and go over one, two. So uh, the rise over the run or the slope would be a rise of negative one over a run of positive two. So it would be negative one half. So in this case the slope or m would equal negative one half. So this equation of the line is going to be y equals negative one-half x minus one. And that is the equation of line b. And if we remember line a up here is y equals negative one-half, or negative five. So pretty easy lesson. Uh, I don't think we go into any difficult equations of the line this early in the book. They just want you to use this triangle method of finding the rise over the run. Uh, remember, negative slopes go down, positive slopes go up and eventually we'll be using a uh, slope formula to find the, the value of the slope when we get more, uh, more complex lines. But that's it for today.